the first order integrated rate law equation is the half-life equation for first order reactions. And a half-life is defined as the amount of time it takes for one half of my reactant to be consumed. And you, you probably have heard half-lives being discussed, especially in terms of radioactive decay. And you may ask yourself, well, why are we talking about half-lives? And I think that's because it allows us to look at the speed of a reaction in terms of seconds, so it's much easier to comprehend. So if I say one reaction has a half-life of 10 minutes and another reaction has a half-life of a million years, which happens in some radioactive decays, it's very easy for you to see which reaction is faster than the other one. So how we actually come up with this half-life equation is we take the idea that we already talked about that when my time is equal to my half-life, T1 half, then the concentration of my reactants at that time is going to be equal to one half of my initial concentration. So here, if I take this idea and plug it into my first order integrated rate law expression, you get that um, the natural log of 0.5, the amount of time it takes to go to one half of whatever we started with, is equal to uh, negative k times the half-life. And so if I actually do this uh, calculation and I solve for T1 half, we get the um, half-life equation for first order reaction. So same deal um, that the half-life reaction for first order um, uh, and second order are going to look quite a bit different. So the first thing I want to point out is, yeah, uh, half-life and k are directly related to each other. So that shouldn't be a surprise. Remember, k is one of the major determining factors of how fast a reaction is going. So it makes sense that as k goes up, the reaction rates go faster and then it takes less time to get to my, my half-life. So these two things are related to each other and you should be aware it's kind of a common question where as part of the question you actually need k and you need the first order integrated rate law but instead of giving you k the uh, examiner will give you t1 half and the idea is you got to take t1 half and turn that into k and then take k and put it into a rate law the first order integrated rate law equation uh, one of the other things, just to mention this, and, um, and for the first order half-life equation, uh, the initial concentration of my reactant is uh, not in there. So the idea is it doesn't matter how much material I'm starting with, the half-life is the same. So if I take one kilogram of uranium and five kilograms of uranium, the half-life is exactly the same. It's going to take the same amount of time for half of that to um, disappear. So when we look at this, um, a simple equation, that's the idea. There's only two variables. I either give you k and have you calculate t1 half or the other way around. So with this I've given you k for a reaction and I say what is the half-life of that equation? All you have to do is take k, uh, plug it in and do the division and then you can see the units on t1 half are uh, the units of time which is uh, inside or hidden inside of the um, rate law. Um, constant and so my time or t1 half is going to be minutes or in this case 56.3 minutes so half-lives are really interesting they do help you understand how fast a reaction is um, but it's they're really not that versatile really the only place they come in handy is when you're looking at uh, how long does it take to go to one half of your reactant so here and then this is re repetitive. So if I start with four molar and I wait for one half life, which is 56.3 uh, minutes, after that time I will have two molar. And then if I wait for another 56.3 minutes, I will half this again um, down to one molar. And so it's the T1 halves or half lives work very well for this kind of dropping by one half idea. But if you have a question that does not follow this one half pattern, Typically what you're going to need to do is use the T1 half to find K and then plug K into your integrated um, rate law equation and find the answer.